Hey everybody, my name's Lawson Priest. I'm a tech service manager for FMC here in the Mid-South. Um, today I showed up to Crawfordsville, Arkansas, which is near Memphis, Tennessee, uh, to check on a fungicide trial I've been keeping an eye on throughout the season. Now this year we've had uh, quite a bit of, of late summer rainfall, um, very conducive conditions for disease to develop in soybeans. And we planted a susceptible variety here and we've got pretty significant frog eye pressure. Now this is gonna be a late look at this fungicide trial. These beans are starting to senesce, but it's really where you can start to separate differences in, in, in levels of control in some of these treatments. So I wanna take you through and show you what I'm seeing here today. So everybody, this is the untreated check in this fungicide trial. Um, if you can see as I start walking through uh, this plot, we have pretty heavy frog eye pressure, a little bit of cercospor pressure, and earlier on before these beans started to senesce, we had some Septoria brown spot um, on the lower canopy. But as you take a look at these, these soybeans, you can see we're eat up uh, with, with the frog eye pressure and um, it's been a conducive year. There's been a lot of fungicide sprays go out for frog eye and even some repeat applications um, chasing, chasing this disease. Now leaving the untreated check and moving right over to the next treatment in this study is going to be, um, this is going to be a surface dribble application of Zyway LFR. And Zyway LFR is straight goods flu trifold. It's the base of all FMC fungicides. Y'all can see that these beans are not to the point of senescence um, that the untreated check was. And the frog eye control from an at plant application of Zyway has been very, very impressive um, in this field. Now we're later in the season and as beans start to senesce, the disease development really moves forward. As y'all can see, um this is a big improvement compared to the untreated check and again this zyway application was put out surface dribble so it was dribbled on top of the closed furrow at planting provided really season-long disease control of frog eye leaf spot earlier in the year we saw septoria brown spot um, control and overall uh, pretty significant plant health benefits that i'll go into a little bit later so the next plot I stepped into is going to be an R3 application of Lucento. And Lucento is the number one fungicide we're pushing in soybeans in the Mid-South due to its broad array of, of control of the key diseases, whether it's septoria brown spot, frog eye leaf spot, um, cercospora leaf blight, target spot. Um, we have good control with this product on, on the key diseases that we face. And another key feature of Lucento is it does not include a strobe. And we have strobe resistance in a number of the key diseases that we're battling here in the Mid-South. So pulling that strobe out and only using the effective modes of action is a more economical way to approach a fungicide application. But you can see, um, even though this is very late in the season, there's a little bit of disease starting to progress as these beans to nest. But this is a very, very clean plot compared to the non-treated check that we were just in a few seconds ago. The next plot I stepped into is gonna be Quadris SBX at seven fluid ounces an acre. And we're in a different side of the field that uh, has a little bit later senescence um, in it. And you can really see the disease progression in this plot. Now Quadris contains a strobe, and as I mentioned earlier, strobes are really not effective on some of our key diseases due to resistance problems that we're facing. I think this plot does a really good job representing the level of frog eye pressure um, and cercospora leaf blight pressure that we're seeing on some of these leaf tips and, and flaring up um, in this situation. But y'all can see the level of, of frog eye pressure. There's really not that big of a difference between this plot and the non-treated check in terms of frog eye control that we're seeing um, out of these fungicide applications. So a key point here is we have to use effective modes of action or effective fungicides on our key key pests, whether it's frog eye leaf spots or cosper leaf light target spot, which has some known resistance issues to the strobe classic chemistry. And soybeans in the Mid-South, we really need to focus in on the trizoles and SDHIs, which makes Lucento a really good option for us as you can see some cercospora starting to come out of the top of the canopy on these leaf tips here. 
One key takeaway for me from this soybean test here in Crawfordsville, Arkansas, is we need to rely on effective modes of action to control or prevent the key diseases that we commonly have here in the Mid-South. Y'all saw the strobe class of chemistry starting to really fall off, especially on frog eye, leaf spot, and cercospora leaf blight in this case. Um, I think we need to migrate our, our control and preventative options to uh, Trizol and SDHI, and a great product for that is Lucento for us. Y'all saw the level of control, late season control here in these uh, soybean plots under extreme frog eye pressure that we have. Now the second um, key takeaway for me out of this soybean demo is the power of Flutrifol, FMC's um, Trizol. And it's really the base of all FMC fungicides, whether it's Top Guard, Top Guard EQ, Lucento, Adastrio, Zyway. Um, Flutrifol really is the base of FMC fungicides. And I, I think one takeaway for me was an et plant application dribbling Zyway on top of the closed furrow et planting provided similar or, or better levels of control than some of the competitive standards that we saw in this fungicide test. Now, another key benefit of Flutrifol and Zyway in particular is we've seen plant health benefits um, when applying this at planting or in corn in a side dress application or um, out of a foliar application of Lucento or Dastrio. And some of the key benefits that we've seen is the increased root structure, um, mining of immobile and mobile nutrients like potassium and phosphorus, and increased water use efficiency with Zyway. And I wanted to show you the increased root structure we got out of a at plant application of Zyway on this soybean test here. So this first bunch of soybean plants, and you can see it's the non-treated um, from the amount of frog eye leaf spot that we have in, in uh, this bundle of 12 soybean plants. And you can see the root structure here. Now, four rows over, I dug these up. Um, and this is had a at plant surface dribble application of Zyway. And we're on 38 inch rows here. So I used 12 fluid ounces to the acre. And you can see the increase in root mass, the, the amount of branching that's going to allow those plants to take up more immobile and mobile nutrients and also um, increase water use efficiency. And that's why we've seen consistent yield bumps when Zyway is utilized in soybean or corn at planter in a side dress application throughout the season. Now, appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, see y'all next time.